Greetings and welcome to another series of weekly devotionals where we take a look at one of the readings in the lectionary for this upcoming Sunday and offer a few thoughts for reflection. This week we're looking at a passage in Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 5. A few years ago, my family and I were down in Washington, D.C., and it was like 92 degrees, and as fate would have it, the air conditioner in our condo was not working. And uh, my daughter, Samantha, who was 13 at the time, saved the day. She, she looked up the serial number of the air conditioner, Googled how to fix it, and, and fixed the air conditioner. And it's amazing. Nowadays, you can go on Google or YouTube and find how-to instructions for just about anything. It reminds me of a friend of mine uh, that I used to know who was also studying to become a minister. This guy just about had the entire Bible memorized, I think. For whatever situation you could find yourself in, any scenario, any problem you needed solving, the Bible had a verse that would tell you what to do. The Bible was a how-to, an instruction manual for living. I didn't read the Bible in exactly the same way as my friend did. And I kind of considered his way of approaching Scripture to be a little self-indulgent, a little self-serving. It's all about me. How can I become more righteous? How can I help myself? How can, how can I gain salvation? How uh, can I do this or that or whatever the case might be? And the Apostle Paul, I think, feels sort of the same way again, uh, towards the Galatians. The Galatians are uh, talking about the law of God, the, the commandments of God, sort of as a how-to manual. If we just follow all the rules, we'll be fine. And, and Paul says this to them. For freedom Christ has set us free, Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Listen, I, Paul, am telling you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. For you are called to freedom, brothers and sisters, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become slaves to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So for Paul, the instructions in, in Scripture, the law of God, is something deeper. It's just not about how to live. It's how to live together. Amen.